Oh, welcome to this new video. This time we are going to be talking about network access uh, specifically for Meraki Wi-Fi connections. So um, Meraki uh, network access has six different type of settings or categories. You have open, pre-share key, Mac, based, enterprise, identity PSK and identity PSK without radius and within the enterprise you have sub settings or different type of authentications. So we're going to be talking about the first three uh, today in this maybe a two parts video, maybe we'll make it three depending on how far we go. And we're going to be talking about the first uh, three today. So um, open um, authentication or network access uh, as open means that there's no uh, password assigned to it. There's no type of um, authentication for that connection. Uh, this is something uh, very useful if you are creating uh, guest uh, type of network access or a type of network access that you just want to leave it open for anyone to select the SSID and connect. Usually when you do that, uh, if you have a guest access, you're, you, you would like to um, implement a, uh, some type of uh, splash page. Either you are going to have them authenticate with a third party like uh, Facebook or or you would like to do a, a, a click through or send some type of um, SMS authentication. It, it's completely up to you uh, if you want to add something on top of that. And also you would like to uh, isolate that traffic. Uh, the, the quickest and easiest way to do that is perhaps using that mode. Um, uh, Meraki is going to have that uh, SSID connection on its own private network. And you could implement on top of that a couple of uh, uh, layer 7 uh, firewall rules to it to, to direct or control traffic. Um, then we have a pre-share key and what that is is simply uh, you adding a, um, a password or passphrase to that SSID connection. So users who would like to connect to it, they would need to enter that user, not that username, that password, that, that key phrase, and they're going to have access to the network. This is very common in um, in home and small businesses and I've even seen many large businesses using PSK for uh, Wi-Fi authentication. Uh, pre-share key is better than, than open but if you configure pre-share key in a business environment that um, at one point is going to create an administrative nightmare and uh, uh, it's going to have a lar you know, a bigger security risk um, because uh, if the password is compromised or if someone shares the password with someone else who's not supposed to uh, know the password to that network, they're going to be able to access um, the network and you wouldn't know what user is accessing the network. And if you have to change the password because it got compromised, then you would have to let everyone know that the password is changed. And it becomes an, an administrative nightmare. So it's a good solution, but it's not something that many businesses would like to implement if they want to adhere to, uh, you know, like network security best practices. Then we have Mac-based um, access control. And uh, this is um, a, a type of access that is based on the Mac address of the devices connecting to, to the network, meaning that... Um, devices when a when, when a device connects to the wi-fi network they are not going to be prompted for to type in a password as you would do here in a pre-share key psk and this type of solutions is very useful when you have um, network devices uh, like um, handheld scanners and, and printers and any other type of medical devices that don't necessarily have an interface for the administrators to, ta to type in the username and password, but they could grant access based on the MAC address of the device. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. In order for you to implement this type of solution, you need uh, 
radius uh, configure in your environment to pass the authentication to the authentication server in this case uh, we're using um, Microsoft Network Policy Server MPS and Active Directory uh, the MPS is radius and then we're going to be using Active Directory as the directory uh, server for um, authentication so um, let's go over this real quick uh, if you want to implement this in your environment um, there are different ways that you can do that meaning these steps are the same no matter if you start from the top or from the bottom as long as you complete all these steps it's going to work so what I want to show you is um, first you need to create a user account uh, with the name and password that's going to be the MAC address of the device that you would like to um, to connect using this uh, network access method so in Active Directory uh, as you know like in this case you would need a Windows um, MPS configuration up and running uh, I'm not going to go over that uh, but you would create a user for that device and in this case I'm going to use a laptop as an example and the um, the uh, the username is going to be the MAC address and the uh, password is going to be the MAC address as well for that connection for that device meaning that if you have 20 or 50 or 200 devices on the floor and you would like to use this type of network access you would have to create a user account for each of those devices make sure that when you do that you set the password never expires unless you want to go back to that device and reconnect uh, or when the password expires you're going to have some problems later and also um, as you could see a MAC address is not a complex type of password if you're going to use it as a password if you have um, uh, a password policy in your environment if you're implemented if you're implementing complex passwords you may want to edit that but that's going to open a uh, security vulnerability if you change the uh, policy for the entire domain but you could also uh, I believe that there, there are some Microsoft settings that you could change that uh, policy for individual users and not the entire domain so once you have that that user uh, name created with um, the MAC address as the password you have to configure your policies in Windows MPS so I have some policies already pre-configured but I'm gonna go over this real quick uh, let's um, open MPS go to network the way I do it open MPS come here and then you're going to configure a uh, radio server for L021X wireless configure L021X uh, secure wireless make sure you select this this could be anything you want this is going to be a mic mag policy uh, you know as I mentioned to you this configuration is already pre-configured so this um, this is gonna be my radius client uh, the uh, one of the access point in the um, in the Wi-Fi deployment so I'm just gonna click next uh, I'm gonna go to uh, Microsoft protected uh, pip next for the groups Oh, I forgot about this when you create uh, the user in Active Directory yeah you also need to create a group where you're gonna be adding those users so um, I already have that uh, group created and that is my Mac auth devices right here and as you can see this is uh, just a regular global uh, group and the security type is uh, just security uh, in the members I have my user that I created previously so let me come down here finish this I'm gonna add the uh, the groups 
right i'm gonna go next i'm gonna go next here and then i'm gonna click on finish once that is done i'm going to um, edit the policy one more time i'm going to go to network policies right click on it properties i'm going to uh, constraints and look at the authentication methods here uh, you have to make sure that you select an encrypted authentication because this is going to be mac and encrypted authentication so i'm going to select that option remove the others i'm going to uh, click on ok uh, view corresponding topic this is a warning a you know pay attention to what you're doing you know say uh, no and then um, that is pretty much it on the MPS side now you would have to go to um, your access control section when you select Mac based access control that needs a radio server you have to go down to the uh, settings down here where you add the radio server this is my server this is my uh, default port the secret settings that i have um, the secret word that i implemented before and that's pretty much it i always do a test to make sure that um, my settings are working properly Right, so I'm gonna come down here and get the IP address of the um, of the device that I configure to test. Right, and this is the, as you can see, this is the MAC address of the device that I'm granting access to, and this is the same as the username of the device that I created previously. Begin test and when the test is successful you're going to see this uh, ap once ap pass ap fail zero make sure that this passes uh, before you proceed and then once you do that um, that's it you're done uh, you can add extra settings to your configuration based on your network policies meaning if you want to implement some type of um, group policies based on device you could do that or if you want to implement um, VLAN configurations uh, you can do that right here VLAN tagging you could do whatever VLAN you have configured uh, previously and um, and the systems are going to be able to um, connect uh, just keep in mind that if another device tries to connect to um, that network that you have configured based on MAC address authentication and you have not added that device to your configuration for authentication uh, the device is going to be able to um, to uh, connect to the network but it's not going to be associated to the network so it's just going to see the SSID but it's going to have no network access um, again like uh, we don't really recommend using Mac based uh, network access unless you need it and there is a reason for this um, is you know sometimes you have legacy devices that don't support any other type of authentication and then you would like to do this um, it, it's going to be better than having an open network but it's not bulletproof because anyone could spoof a mac address and connect to your network right and so you you have to weigh in the options here so um i hope this helps uh, uh, mac based um, authentication is very useful it, it has its place in in the enterprise um, and um, we'll talk about the other type of network access solutions for wi-fi access in a future video have a great day